Bye. Let's go. Here we go. Perfect. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top 5 on the People's Podcast this evening. We have four incredible guests uh, with us, recurring guests, and I can't wait to put this on YouTube so our YouTube family can show love to them as well. Uh, We're going to start with Mariah. Mariah, can you please say what's up to everybody? What's up, everybody? Got my sidekick with me? Hey, how you doing? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Next, we're going to... She's long awaited. She's been gone for, I think, about four years. Let's give it up to Aisha. Aisha holding it down. Aisha, what's up? Say what's up to everybody. Hi, everybody. You're such a (laughs) set. I'm just saying. (laughs) Marvin, y'all, it's been like four years. Come on, let's keep it up. Come on now. I was was about to start crying because I missed it so much, for real. Okay, so I'm saying, oh, God. See, <laughs> see, he's sweet. You just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Mar- Marvin, please say what's up to everybody, bro. Peace, love, blessings, and protections as always. All right, great. And then Yahweh, please say what's up to everybody, bro. Black people, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, speaking of black people, cookouts, barbecues, Juneteenth celebrations. Let's do top five. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. <laughs> top five summer anthems. All right, here we go. All time. All right, we start with you, Sister Mariah. Who you got for number five? Okay, so first of all, I just want to say I don't care what you think about my list. These are my top five. <laughs> I like these and my friends' hype. <laughs> so Smokey Robinson, who you got? Who you got? So my first one is T.I. Bring them out. Okay, okay, that's a good one. I feel good about that one. I like that's it. A, no, no, yeah, I like it a lot for real. I like it. Thank I, like it. I would have never thought about that. I, I, that's a good one. I never thought about uh, bringing him out. All right, uh, Aisha, who you got? Number five. Hey, I know you hate ties, but I have a tie. Number five. Because well, it's it's one artist, it's Drake, but I got Hotline Bling and um, One Dance for number five. Okay, that's a good one. I would have went worse behavior, but okay, I go with that. I go with that. That's not appropriate barbecue music. I was saying, I don't know what, <laughs> worse behavior is like one of my favorite drink songs. I'm like, nobody likes no, worse behavior. It, it, it just, it's children at barbecues. You can't play that. Like, First. <laughs> it it, it depends on which barbecue you at. Sometimes we don't care what the kid, kids go in the house. We finna play that vulgar music. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we got uh, Marvin. We got number five. Uh, number five, I got For the Summer by Fabulous. Okay, yeah, put me on, put me on. It's, it's from his uh, Summertime Shootout mixtape. It's probably the best mixtape he ever made. And like that is, and he's got a couple of songs about the summer in there, but that's the one where he's like extra braggadocious and it's a dope ass beat, so. Okay, okay. That's good. That, by the way, it might be the first time Fabulous ever got uh, mentioned on the podcast, all right? Yeah. No, I said him before, I said him before and y'all ripped me to shred because it was the answer. <laughs> It was the answer to a uh, person you would most want featured that have, that have had bars or something like that. And I said fabulous, and y'all act like I was retarded or something. Yeah, no, <laughs> he, 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 he going to the Jadakiss category. It's okay. <laughs> Jadakiss, that's what Jadakiss do. <laughs> Put him in the Jadakiss category. All right, y'all wait. Who you got, number five? I got Summer Breeze by the Ozzy Brothers. The Ozzy Brothers version of Summer Breeze. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, yeah, Ozzy Brothers. Summertime. We step in. Uh, my number five, um, I when I used to play rappers of all time, I'm going with Jay Z, going with Dear Summer, can't go wrong with it. Oh, one of my favorite. I thought about <laughs> it, I definitely thought about it. You ride, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? You just vibing. Bye. I should have put that. You're right, Josh. I doubt it. I'm wrapping it in my head. Just the, the way it started, just like, oh, Dear Summer, I know you're gonna miss me. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's go. Like Chris T's. Yeah, number four. Who you got, Sister Mariah? My number four, I got Ladies Night with um, Lil' Cam, Missy Elliott. Bring them out, Ladies Night? Okay. So, 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 yeah, she's she, 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 she going harder <laughs> than <laughs> <She's going laughs> <harder laughs> She came ready. I realized that, bro, Joshua Generation don't have no good, like, summertime hits for real, for real. Oh, uh, you a hater for that. I'm going <laughs> to pull you wrong now. Are you going too far? <laughs> <laughs> Josh be trying to fool y'all. He old. Don't let him fool. But, my, but <laughs> that's not my generation. That's your generation, Little Kim. Aisha, that's your generation, Little Kim. 
Angie Martinez. That's your group. That's not mine. Whatever. All right, Whatever. Aisha, who, who you got? Uh, number four. I got, I got Rihanna for number four. Work. Okay, okay. I wasn't That's expecting that. That's right. That's a good one. That's what I was expecting Rihanna to work. That's a good one. Bye. <laughs> All right, Marvin, who you got number four? Summertime Magic by Childish Gambino. Bye. Yeah, put me on, bro. Yeah, put me on. Y'all don't know you. Uh, the song with him and Rih where he got Rihanna in the video. Okay, okay, okay. I know the video. I ain't know the song. Yeah, I know the video. I ain't know the song. Yeah, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got. Right, he's got. got Mother. Okay, no. Naima said, "Peace, family. Peace, Naima." Uh, Yahweh, who you got? Naima, we on number four, by the way. <laughs> Money ain't a thing about Jermaine Dupree and Jay Z. You said what? Well, Money ain't a thing about Jermaine Dupree and Jay Z. Okay, okay. Uh, if you listen yeah, to that song, y'all always thought about the funnest time in his childhood and what he I was listening think to. Think that though. That's what came out. <laughs> you going? You going volume two with it? I ain't even think about. It. I ain't think about that. I ain't, matter of fact, I ain't hurt. Okay, I'm right. That's why I'm right with them. Hey, hey, and if you listen to it, JD snapped on it. Like he, he, did. he legit yeah. held his own with. with that's uh, a that's a song that sounds like summer yeah. for real. He did. So, good. so, Josh, I guess I got a good list after all. Go ahead. Listen, okay. Hey, it's early. It's early. Don't toot your own horn. <laughs> Naima <laughs> said in the five, LL Cool J, round, round away girl. I ain't think about that, Naima. Oh. I had them took it off. I had them took it off. What? You took it off? Because Mariah, that's not what your thing. I took it off. What you, I got It's on my list. Okay, look, I'm like, look, which I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, Cool J is my favorite rapper from the '80s, but I didn't even think to. Uh, Bro, I'm singing these songs in my head. This is boy. <laughs> I'm about to start writing stuff down. Give me one. Yeah, I know. All right. So next, we're going with you, Marvin. No, we, we no, Aisha, Aisha, number four. No, she did number four, right? You, yeah, you, it's not me. It's not me. I did my number Marvin, four. Marvin, number four. I did summertime magic, number four. Okay, Yahweh, number four. Jay Z, money and thing, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. My number four, Meek Mill, Dreams and Nightmares. What are we talking about? Mm -hmm. It held it down from like 2013 to like 2015. Yeah. It was like years. I'm just telling y'all. Ain't this what we've been that's, waiting for? That's that's a good one. All right, Josh, 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 Josh is going to an all. Adult, he's going to an adult barbecue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he would be no seniors, no children. <laughs> <laughs> well, pardon me for not doing the electric slide. My God. Oh, man, we passed that. We passed that. The juke slide, too. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Number three. Uh, this is Mariah. Who you got? My number three is Hey, Mr. DJ by Zane. Hmm. By who? I think you pronounce it Zane. I'm saying, put this on. Like, like who was like, is that like, who was fabulous in him? Who was that? Like, Zane, who was that? No, I... No, they okay, so. Zane. That's their name, I think. Zane, I think. Is it Zane? What's, I what's the song? Hey, Mr. DJ. You talking about uh, the what? You talking about the one with public oh, announcement? Gonna, gonna, From the what now? I thought you were talking about public announcement and R. Kelly. Mm -mm. No, it's the, hey. you gotta look it up. I think it was from like. Nah, hey, Mr. DJ, I think Four. what's the name was dancing yeah. to it? Um, yeah, um, what's the name of it? Lil Zane? <laughs> No, oh, it's Zane. It's a group. It's two girls. And they, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mr. DJ. They say um, Major Pain. He was dancing to it on Major Pain in the beginning when he was in the club. No, I thought I thought he was um dancing the two live crew, but whatever. All right. I feel, I feel no, like that's, that's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't, I can't think of the song. I think it's from like either ninety two or ninety four. I want to say ninety four. Hey, Mr. DJ. You mm -hmm. know that song. Come on, Josh. All right, I got it. I got it now. Yeah, that's that's all I needed. I was, Josh, all, it was all fired. This is Mariah. I don't know. Uh, Josh, <laughs> oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. Oh, I remember that now. <laughs> what is this song? I just, I just put me on. Tell me, this is your era. What put me on? What song is this? What you mean? It was like you can play that song now, and people know it and don't know why they know it. Yeah, that's true. Probably. It's okay. They was with, they was with um, it. it was it was a girl group and they were with like Naughty by Nature and in in them. Yeah, I'm about to say it was back then. Yeah. Okay, y'all go back. You gotta do it. Back home. Back. You, you gotta come from the regular cookout. 
they was like Josh knows the song. They, but I don't know the song. I'm <laughs> now, when you when you hear it, Josh, you gonna remember. All right. Okay. So name is in the comments. She said, "Everybody, move your body, snap to it. There is something." That's gonna make you. That's the song, man. This is my nicest poem in the lyrics right now. Like, that's it. I don't know the lyrics. That's not even she knows it. All right, so. This is the troll of all trolls. Look at that. She is. She is. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You mean JT and Carisha? That's ridiculous. I am for my number three, I'm going to Josh Cookout. I got gin and juice soup. Okay, okay. His inappropriate that's, that's introduction. That's how that's how it starts. The songs start off. It's just like as soon as you hear four, like yeah. <laughs> that's the song you play once everybody already got their buzz. Yeah. That, 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 Thank you, Marvin, for your buzz <laughs> <laughs> tutorial. My I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. That's when you play that. Everybody loves Jen and Juice. Stop playing. Everybody love that song. That's a good one. That's a good one. And what's crazy, when that song was out, Aisha was babysitting me and me. That was definitely He's doing that lying. Period. You know about trolling? That was definitely doing that time period. I have Marvin. never babysat him. <laughs> Marvin, who you got number three? Uh, For number three, I got Fireworks by Drake. Okay. So everybody wants to just use all the Drake songs, but not worse behavior. But okay. All right. Hey, if, if you turn on if you turn on fireworks, that shit yeah. sound like summer for real. That's a good one. That's a good one. My number three is friends that don't fit in with everybody else's. Okay, but all right, Yahweh, who you got number three? Bruce and Smokey Robinson. Okay, <laughs> Yahweh, I know you're such a smooth player. You know, I know you're smooth. I know you're bumping the Isley Brothers and, and um uh, um who you say? You said cruising by what? Yeah, cruising, Smokey Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, I mean, brother, you can't you know. go wrong with the Angelo version either. I'm gonna say, you no, know. they both good, yeah. So you can't go wrong with All right, my number three is Naughty by Nature, OPP. That's a great one. I didn't even think about that one. That's I'm telling you, that's the most inappropriate. You <laughs> 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 just said get in juice. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, yeah, Look, it's, it's, go ahead, Josh. Go ahead, get it. Get out with OPP. <laughs> he, I mean, he's so ready. I'm just saying, like, the, the Michael Jackson sample, Jackson 5 sample. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what are we saying? Like, it's just a good thing. Uh, Naima says, Happy Feeling. I don't know if that's the name, but Frankie Beverly Amazed. Okay, so apparently yeah, you know, you're doing all the old jams. All right, I get it, I get it. Okay, number two. Oh, everybody who's watching, can't wait to put this on YouTube as well. Top five summer anthems of all time. Number two, we're going with Super Mariah. Who do you have, ma'am? My number two is Round the Way Girl, LL Cool J. Okay, so your name was in tune. Like, I didn't know that was a summer thing. Like, I didn't even know. But what you mean? Know? People can play that now, and I will go get my bamboo earrings. What is going on? Like I didn't like I love Hello Cool J, but I didn't know like that was the song. Like Man, that's another one that sounds like like if I put that on in the summer, it's like perfect. It's mm -hmm. the perfect great song. song. That song is yeah. great. It's classic. Is, is it weird that I never talked to a girl with bamboo earrings? Is that like a thing? Like I gotta get a girl with bamboo earrings? I mean she definitely coming to that cookout that you got them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why you trying to <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm gonna look at her because you know, because people, a lot of people want to know my type is Mariah. So if anybody ever asks my type, I'm gonna tell them I want a girl with extensions in their hair. Wow, no, earrings, at least two pairs. Wow, a bag and a bad attitude. You know what I'm saying? That's the hell of it. I get it. 55 <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I never talked to a girl with bamboo earrings. I'm like, I didn't know that was like a like a requirement. Wow, okay. Um, hey, our best friend is back for two weeks ago. Uh, Tam Sam, she says, hi, y'all. Hey, Tam. She, hey, says, Tam. Uh, she says she loves the D'Angelo version, too. All right, let's go. Um, Aisha, who you got? Number two. I got Nelly hot in here for number two. That's a great one. Y'all wait, don't, take, don't start hating. That's a great one. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> talk about a, you talk about a summer of summers like what are we saying like man what do we talk about that's went back <laughs> I, I, listen, listen you see behind like, like 
to the Jehovah. <laughs> that y'all know nothing about. To the, jer- to the backless jerseys, and you know what I'm saying. I had a headband. It was just, it was just. They, they don't, they don't even know that version of Josh. <laughs> they don't even know that. Version. Yeah, my headbands. It was just a lot. Like, Josh had headbands. I had a Sean yeah. John headband. Like, oh my god. I know Josh had, Josh had, Josh had so like, I, I had some vocal attire. Big I think I might have got that for sure. Like Josh had a band-aid, like he really had a cut. I mean, for sure. <laughs> I, I did that. I ain't gonna lie, I did that definitely. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was the man. Like I'm a, like history, history don't write it like that, but Nelly was that dude for a long time. I don't know about a long time before time. All right, Marvin, who you got for number two? I got uh Mr. Slap a man on the stage, Will Smith with with summertime. And number two? Yeah, and number two. I got I got see it. Number number two, man. I got to figure out everybody mad. Look, I'm sorry. My number one is a is a beautiful <laughs> song, and y'all gonna see why. Y'all don't think y'all well, y'all gonna argue, but that's cause y'all y'all <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't culture like me. All right, uh, y'all, who your number two? Number two, I have Frankie Beverly and Maze with Before I Let Go. That's hey. a good one. Now. So Beyonce is not the original. She she didn't make that verse. She's somebody. Nah, nah. Not this old, this old dude that we're right not entertaining y'all. You're not entertaining. This is he wears all white like Yo Gotti and Lisa Ray all the time. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and white um golf hats. His name is Frankie Beverly. He has Frankie these Beverly. backup singers. They call themselves Mays. Okay. They look like they were not backup singers. That's the band. <laughs> they something. They that was that was just back. It's the background. Didn't nobody know what they did. They're the band. They're the band. True. <laughs> and, and, and just so Aisha, you know, I'm not trolling. I literally <laughs> think my mom used to say it. I thought it was Frankie Beverly and and Mace or Frankie Beverly. Stuff. I didn't know it was Mace until I got older. Like I was like, oh Mace. I was like Frank Beverly, man. Like I didn't know what the man. I didn't know what it was. Frank <laughs> Beverly, man. I didn't know what the man was. Okay. Um, Nine said can't go wrong with Frankie Beverly and Maze. I mean Frankie Beverly. Any Frankie Beverly. I don't know any Frankie Beverly. Not even two songs. I don't know any Frankie Beverly. Like he just. Oh man, he got Southern Girl. He got. He got all type of song. Just say you're not a real fan. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I thought Beyonce made it before I let you go. So what do I? Mean? Absolutely not. All right. My number <laughs> two. I don't know. It's been a long yeah, time since I mentioned my favorite band, but Sly and the Family Stone, Hot Fun in the Summertime. Y'all know anybody want that? I put my phone when I want to. Y'all know about Sly and the Family Stone? Oh. You always talk about Sly and the Family Stone. We always give you the same reaction. Uh, no, we don't know it, okay? We never, we don't know it. Did we can even make that song? Hot Fun in the Summertime. We good. <laughs> <laughs> we tell you every time. The same reaction you get. This is right. Next time y'all come with one of your answers about Zane again. So I don't know Zane, but y'all know y'all mad because I don't know Slide Family Stone. That's different. Everybody know that's that song she was talking about. <laughs> right? I even said she don't know that song. Look, before they oh, even oh. sung the song that was on the tip of my tongue, at least I ain't never heard none of that stuff you talking about, brother. <laughs> Hot fun in the summertime. It's, it's on. It's on all the black movies like in back in the day, like like in the, the no. or And we still don't remember. <laughs> oh, all right, whatever. All right, listen. Let's go. Number one. Who do you got, Marvin? Number one, I got "Feel Like Summer" by the great Childish Gambino. What is this song? How was this above Will Smith "Summertime"? Like you gotta put me on. Oh, you it's don't the, feel it's like the video where he got all the cartoons of everybody. It's his cartoons. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I, I know him more from his from visuals. I ain't, I didn't, I didn't listen. It wasn't like I was bumping that song though. I'm Man, more, that's something like, crazy. That's a, it's it's uh, arguably just as good as "Summertime." I know that's why I did it because it's my list. I can do what I want, but no, it's arguably. It uh, sorry. I gotta, now, Marvin, you maybe go back and listen to it because I'm more Childish Gambino, three thousand five. That. Time period, not so much the older one, but I, I'll give it a chance. Yeah, try, bro. I'm telling you, it, 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 it'll be added to your playlist forever. Trust me. All right. Naima said that's not better than Summertime, Will Smith. I didn't know we had so many Will Smith fans on here. Uh, okay. We're going to see for number one. Aisha, who you got for number one? Will Smith, Summertime. Who else? Now, this is now, Will Smith is Jaden Smith's dad, correct? You know what? Wow. <laughs> wow. 
That's how I know him. Dave Smith's dad. All right, cool. Willow, Willow's father, August Alcina's son. That's, August Alcina's son. Right. Right. That's, that's what I was going with. I was like, oh, I, he, he kind of connected to August Alcina. That's how I know him. Rock's abuser. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aisha. All right. Um, sister, um, hold on. Um, Marvin, who you got for number one? I said, I like some. My handwriting today is horrible. Yahweh, who you got for number uh, one? We skipped Mar- we, we skip Sister Mariah, but. Oh, no, Sister Mariah, I skipped you. I ain't mean to skip you, Sister Mariah. It's okay. Okay, go ahead, Sister Mariah. Who you got for number one? No. Sister <laughs> Mariah, who you got for number one? So, can I get my honorable mention first? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Look it up. So my honorable mention, I don't care what you say. I am from the country where we like hunt and ride four wheelers and all that stuff. So I love this song by Nelly and Florida mm-hmm. Georgia Line a little bit because it just reminds me of summers in the country. But I, never, number, I never heard that. You gotta go listen to it. Every time I hear it in my car, I just I get hyped. And I'm a, and I'm a Nelly. <laughs> I'm, not gonna let, I'm not gonna let that slide. That don't deserve to be an honorable mention. <laughs> I thought you was gonna say it's all in my head. I keep no. <laughs> I can't too. That's the first thing I started singing. I'm like, no, no, the one with him in Florida George Line. I like that one better. Um, okay. but my number one, of course, is "Summertime" by Will Smith. That's when you play it, and everybody knows that song That's and does it. Quiet. Uh, it, 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 that's the ultimate feel good summer song. I, I would agree. All right, Yahweh, who you got for number one? I got the real feel good summertime. Get around by Tupac. Hey, that's, that's, that's the one. <laughs> that, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's hey. it's so good. So you might as well wrap it up. We can that's get all the all the Don Will Smith and that sucker shit. So I had to go with Tupac. <laughs> 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 Listen. Uh, Mimi said, "Big pun. Don't want to be a player." Mimi, is that Fat Joe? Is that Fat Joe's? That. Is that Fat Joe's friend from? Uh, I think he always talk about. <laughs> Not is that Fat Joe's friend? She always talk about. He always talk about Big Pun. I'm like, I guess. It is. <laughs> oh, Josh, I don't even know. Tia, twenty four. That's a good one. Not even say he's canceled the court. Not even know I'm not can. I didn't cancel him. I'm just we just holding up the the, the, the rules, but your rules. Mimi said, "This is how we do it." Montel Jordan. I don't know how nobody put that. That's uh, good. Right. That one too. I thank you. I, 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 I <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. That's one of the songs that, as we age, we realize this was really trash. <laughs> Speaking of Montel Jordan, I don't know why. I don't know why his other songs don't get enough credit. But after the party, no, no, is it not? Is it after the party? No, not after the party. Oh, no, uh, nobody knows. No, nobody knows Montel. No, Jordan. he got another song. Montel Jordan got another song. Tell yeah, me the other it. one. I like the other one better than I like the one you just named. That's coffee brand. I mean, that's coffee. No, for brother Joshua song. can't even think of it now. Dang, Montel Jordan had another song. <laughs> nobody <laughs> else, nobody <laughs> knows about his second. No, song. I ain't gonna let, I ain't gonna let that slide. We done have fabulous on this damn list. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna call for Montel Jordan. <laughs> that's that's Jordan got a song, real. bro. Oh, I'm about to tell that's you that. That song, no. that, that's a bop right there. Not I'm about to tell you, Montel Jordan got a song because y'all gonna have to know. No, he no, 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 get it on tonight. Get it on tonight. Oh, yeah, Josh. You, Josh, you on your own with that one. You has to go. <laughs> no, that's, that's that's the one. Let's go somewhere and get it on tonight. That's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's that's crack. That was a good one. <laughs> That's that what I'm saying. That, that might have been better than this is how we do it. It's 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 better than this is how we do it. This is yes, how we do it. It's way better. Garbage. Maybe said, yeah. maybe said, this is how we do it. It's corny, classic, summertime, no fun to talk. Maybe, God dang it, for, for doing all of this Montel uh, Williams, I mean, Montel Jordan song. All right, my number one is Fresh Prince in the Bell, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Fresh Prince DJ Jazzy Jeff. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Written by written by um, Sister uh, Mariah and Aisha's favorite '80s rapper Rakim. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with summertime. Are you talking about Rakim wrote that song? Yep, you can hear it all in it. So now every time you listen to it, Naomi gets mad every time I bring that up to her because I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 and so that's, 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 said that I'm like, bro, and you know what I was thinking? I was like, that's the best will ever rapped in this life. <laughs> sure enough, See? and that's why you don't belong on this list. If I know who I'm going to get with. Here it is. Ooh, like, just a bit of a break from the norm. 
Oh just my God, song. bro. It's, it's all right here. It's all right here. Like, like that. Took Rakim's biggest song that could be. <laughs> Did you say that number one? Yeah, Rakim should have took it for himself for sure. All right, let's go. But everybody who um, no, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with um the sitcoms. We'll come to the uh, athletes last because that's always when like the, the sisters leave stage left because they don't know everybody except for um Candace Parker. All right, so we're going top five. <laughs> <laughs> and Venus Williams, Serena Williams. I guess Venus. Williams. I'll say it for for a sister. You such a hater. <laughs> he is such a hater. Top five underrated TV sitcoms. That was the best. That was the best list to me. So we're gonna keep we gonna keep it to the end though. All right. So top five underrated sitcoms. We're going with number one. We're going with we're going with Marvin. What you got? Number five for me. Number five. Uh, I'm gonna go Archer. Archer the cartoon. You gotta put this on. <laughs> Archer. I think it's like, it's like uh, imagine an office in cartoon form, but okay. like no, no, exa- watch but, it. Okay. but exaggerated like to the like the boondocks exaggerated in in the office, and then you got some extreme office shit going on. But it, it used to come on uh, Adult Swim, so boondocks is kind of that. So I never, I never, I never watched it. Nobody. Well, that's why. I, that's why we do the shows like this so somebody can put me on. And I need a new TV show to watch anyway. So let's go try. Yeah, Archer. Archer's dope. I, I know it's on one of them platforms. <clears throat> okay, Mimi's uh, seeing your uh, Archer and raising you one. She's going Daria. Mimi, because Mimi used to act like Daria in high school, especially with that all serious. Those are yeah. cartoons, though. Those ain't sitcoms. Yeah, yeah. they're um, still sitcoms, right? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, because Mammy got a Simpsons. Really Mammy got a Simpsons count. Um, Mimi said, "My brother and me." That's a good one. And she said, "Rock." The, Mimi, the Rock had his own sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> she said the Rock. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. News to me. Mimi, what's Rock? Explain Rock. Is it the Rock or what are you saying right now? Mimi? Explain. Are you talking about the show Rock? Yeah, she said. Rock. She said, "Bye, Josh." That's Mimi. We know how you love Rock. My God. Cause rock that was movie, a great show. Rock movie, Josh. It's rock movie. Yeah, rock movie. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is Ryan. So this is Ryan. You you used to like Eleanor? Is that what you say? <laughs> you like the rock? You like rock? Right? I did like Eleanor. Okay. All right. So next we're going with this is Mariah. What do you got for number five? <laughs> My number five is Frasier. You think it's underrated? I think it's underrated. I think okay. she has to. I think Frasier is like dry. What I would kind of characterize like dry comedy. Like everybody doesn't get it. I talk to people that think Frazier is corny, but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it's literally it's literally my top five shows of all time, so that's why you say it's underrated. I can see why you say that, because, you know, the, the blank stares you're getting from Marvin and all of them every time somebody says Frazier, but yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah that's it's no, I'm trying to say it's because track. I used to kind of watch it, but I was like, I, I don't know. I can't I like remember for real. I, I like Frazier, but I don't think it's underrated. Who's, yeah. who's in Frazier? Who's on there? I'm trying to think of some of the brothers. Oh, exactly. Track. No, no, no. Here you go, Yahweh. The girl from us uh, from Living Single came on there and she was his co-host before. That's uh, it was five girls on Living Single. <laughs> Sinclair, 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 Sinclair came on there. Uh, Naima said all of us. Is that with Kyle Brett, Naima? Because I, I that's what you think about all the things like Kyle Brett. All, <laughs> all right, let's go. Uh Yahweh, who you got for number five? Yeah, I'm gonna keep my list blackity black. Uh, <laughs> my number five, I'm gonna go with smart guy. You think it's under about that? I thought it's about extremely that. Extremely yeah. smart guy. Even though Beyonce came on there and it was a big deal, like even though, I don't think know. I don't think too many people knew Beyonce came on. Yeah, yeah, came yeah. yeah. I yeah. showed. See, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Miami said Frazier's not underrated. No, because it's not underrated to you because you know you got you be around me. I try to put you on the good show. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that Frazier. All right, let's go. Aisha, who you have at number five? I got um, King of Queens for number five. Okay. Another one show. It's like, it's like my number six. If it ain't five, it's six. That's a good one. It always fight. King of Queens fight for my top five. It's fighting daily. It's fighting daily. I love King of Queens. Yeah. yeah, I love King of Queens. I All think right. it's. I think it's really funny, but I don't think a lot of people watched it like that. Yes, and according to the documentary I saw on it, they didn't. They didn't get recognition until it went to syndication. It made me sad. I was that like, thing, oh, that thing went to syndication after two seasons. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 they like Kevin James. That Kevin James. The day before Maury. Yeah, Kevin James said he didn't he didn't get the recognition that he did he deserved. And it's genius. It's a funny it's show. Make me laugh. All right, number five. I got Unhappily Ever After. I don't know if you ever seen that. That's with the little puppet, right? Yeah, yeah. Y'all never seen it? Listen. Yeah. 
Uh, who's in it? After. I who's in remember. it? Um, this woman, she's such a great actress. I don't know what her name was, but she was a great actress. That means she was trying. <laughs> <laughs> she's a phenomenal <laughs> actress. My lord, my god. Well, I used to watch every episode. I don't know. I ain't never seen her again. But Unhappily Ever After is one of the best shows you're ever going to see. Like, my goodness. But yeah, it's it's underrated because people don't even like talk about it, but it's funny as hell. And, and I should know it's not about looks or it's about the talent. She she can sure, sure, sure. <laughs> All right, listen. So next we got um number four. Who you got, Marvin? Um I have my bad. I have to look at my list. I have hanging with Mr. Cooper. You think it's underrated? Hell yeah. Yeah, I would say that's fairly underrated. I get it. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. You know. Hanging with Mr. Cooper was was lit. No. I, I don't I don't remember it like that. I don't remember. <laughs> <He said, "No, laughs> okay. mm-hmm. Mimi said Mimi said the fact that none of y'all had homeboys from outer space on your list shows that y'all really not cultured. Homeboys it's from like, outer space. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a whack freeze company. I don't I'm I'm sorry, I didn't like Mimi homeboys said homeboys from outer space. Mimi said homeboys that. from outer space introduced us to Usher it's terrible and, and, and taught people the real love of Issa Rae and everything. Okay, thank you, Mimi, for your homeboys from outer space uh, trivia. What, what is homeboys from outer space though? Like a terrible show. A terrible show. That sounds, like, that sounds like a mockery. <laughs> Mimi said she totally joking. y'all. Naima said all of us with Dwayne Martin, Lisa Rae, Will Smith. Okay. Oh, that show. And I even said she forgot about that show, Josh. I'm telling y'all, man, you know what I'm saying? Go back and watch it. All right. Number four. Okay, number four, top five. I mean, yeah, number four, top five underrated TV shows. Who do you have? Okay, who, that, who just went? Marvin. Marvin. Okay, sis Mariah, who you got? My number four is off of Netflix. It's called Atypical. If you haven't seen it, you should one. watch it. That's a good one. Atypical, it's a good, it's a really good show. Listen. Really good show. All right. So, Mariah, like, you on mute. Like, but I feel like it gives people like a really good view of what it is like for them and how, you know, things that we might take for granted or that might not be like we don't, you know, think twice about it. It's kind of it's kind of different when you're on the spectrum. It's a beautiful And really show, I man. I kind of reference the show like well, of course, because my sister has autism. And I always tell people to go watch the show because it gives you just a, a really good view of how stuff is for it. Some ride, somebody blowing you up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you popular today, man. I know, right? And it's and it's Sister Rakia. <laughs> yeah, Sister Rakia, know what time it is. All right. Uh, let me say that's a great one, Sister Mariah. She enjoyed that show. Naima said Atypical is so good. Let me tell y'all something about Sister Mariah's dealing with that. For some reason, I identify with the main character from Atypical. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I'm telling you, I don't want to talk to people. I'm weird. If I had a roommate, I'd be weird. Like, listen, I love Atypical. He's so yeah. funny. I love Atypical. Yes, and penguins, because that's all—that's the main thing I remember. Penguins. Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so the penguins. Whatever you say about penguins. Yahweh, who you got for number four? And back to bounce TV. If y'all like atypical. Y'all love the Parkers. I don't mm-hmm. care what y'all say. What are you saying? The Parkers. Thought about that. The Parkers. Is such a, thought about the that. Parkers. If you watch it today, I guarantee you will laugh at at least two parts in the show. It's better to hang. <laughs> it's, it's better to hang on Mr. Cooper. I give you that. Oh, that's <laughs> what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say, Marvin. Hang with Mr. Cooper. The, the, they had a, a theme song with In Vogue coming on there. That's the only reason I used to watch it because In Vogue, listen. Man. Hey, why y'all coming for me today? What I do to y'all? What I do to In Vogue, that thing, sir. Uh, Mimi, said the Mimi said the Parkers is trash. Naima said. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say because this Frazier and half of the stuff y'all say is trash. Frazier is not trash that way. I'm telling you. I'm going to give y'all a beautiful, mindless TV. The yeah. Just watch it. Just, Just watch, watch it one day. Listen, I watch it. That's a perfect day. description. Beautiful and mindless. You right. You right. <laughs> hey. I love background it's noise. It's I love it's it's putting stuff on to go to sleep. Aisha, what you got for number four? I got um every mom right. I got the Mindy Project for number four. I never watched it. Put us on. See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Put us on. Let's know. What's up? 
it's a good show. It's Mindy Colling, and it's her show. She's a doctor on it. It's good. It's funny. It's funny. So, okay, yeah, give so me up. Other than Kelly, she, I know she's Kelly from office. Yeah, no, she's fun. no, she's funny. She's funnier on there. Okay, I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance because you're saying so. All right, speaking of mindless TV, I'm going with Yes, Dear. Yes, Dear is like that TNT, like in between after school type show. Y'all know that for Yes, Dear? Where the family hey, lives. Hey, comments. Just how y'all attack me for Parker? Yes, Dear. Yes, Dear is good. <laughs> you know why Yes, Dear? Yes, Dear is better than the Parker's. That's what, that's that's what, right. I'm like, Nobody even knows. Yes, Dear is good, man. Everybody who knows the Parker's raise your hand. <laughs> Everybody that knows Yes, Dear. Right? They used to come away after school. I'm telling you, like TNT, like it's like in that four to six, four to five, like time period. A rich family, I mean, and then the, then the family lives in next to the rich family, and then they got to He works in the uh, or whatever. All right, uh, Sanford is uh, basically basically <laughs> Sanford. All right, Naima said uh, Yes, Dear is good. Mindless TV. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, man, I gotta have stuff to go on and go to sleep. Everything can be on TV, fam. I gotta Number cut three. something off, y'all. Okay. Number three, what you got, Marvin? Got trailer park park boys speaking of mindless TV. I, I put listen, I, I never gave it a chance. Bro, it, if you give it a chance, like the more you watch it, it's like, man, this is like, I don't know. It just feel good watch. And I don't even watch TV, but I, like I was hanging with a chick one time, she put it on, and like usually I'd be like annoyed by like half an episode, but I was like, I'm actually pretty invested. This shit is it was funny, it was intriguing, even though it was like trailer park stuff, like it was just like uh trashy funny but what show trashy. don't they got a cartoon about that i don't know i i, I don't know about that that's what, what show is it? Like, yeah they, i think they do trailer park, trailer park boy mm -hmm. oh i never heard of that that's what i'm saying it come on netflix but like i mean i see it on netflix and i'm like no nah, i'm not watching it but marvin you you listen i'm gonna take your word we're gonna take your word on it all right sister mariah who do you have for number three are you on mute again sister mariah, i mean my, how popular are you today no, I was on. No, my sister. <laughs> Every time y'all start talking, she be yelling out "bye" because she love just like hanging up on people. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. But um, my number three, I don't care what you say, is Thea. I used to love the show Thea. What's Thea? What's Thea? What's that about? Thea was like it had Brandy on it back in the day, and um, what's the brother that played Simba? That Nick was Cannon. Nick, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. No. no. <laughs> He was the brother and smart guy. The one from Chicago. Yeah. yeah Jonathan, like, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. No, absolutely not. I like Thea because Jason Thea Weaver. Like, yeah, Jason Weaver. Thea was like a real Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> she said he played Simba. I'm trying to figure out who she talking about. No, I'm talking about the, the black face that was Simba's singing voice. Okay, okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm trying to get to the point. Yeah, of him and Brandy played siblings in Thea, and I felt like Thea didn't get the shine she should have got. I like Thea because she was like a real black mama to me. Was she like a housemaid? I don't know what she, I can't remember what she did for a living, but I felt like just her yeah. on the show, I felt like she was just like clean awesome. houses and wash clothes. That's what she did. No, wait. No, no, you talk, no, you're talking about. Give me a break, Sister Mariah. You ain't talking about <laughs> give me a break. No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's not give me a break. That's also, that's not the same show. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Nail Carter. That's all they were talking about. Nail Carter. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. He's just being so petty. Right now. <laughs> Naima said Reba. I love Reba. I, it, Reba is ready. I need to watch Reba. Naima said she's not playing with you. Okay, God, God. I can't believe y'all like Reba. I mean, it's underrated. That's messed up. I love Reba. Naima said, stop handing me a tip. Be not, because I don't know who, because I'm not give me a break. Um, oh my God. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, Yahweh, who you got for number three? I have the game, but I only have the first like three or four seasons of the show. It's because, underrated? Yeah. Yeah. That's the man. Every, every girl I knew was talking about the game every day. Every. I, I, think it, I think it was severely underrated. I think that like when it, until it came on BET, Black folks wasn't paying attention to it because it was That's on what? True. UPN, which is damn near BET 2.0. It was like BET Jams or some shit. Exactly. But <laughs> like, it was it was always one of those underrated, like, oh, this is actually pretty decent, you know, type um, shows. But then when Brandy got on there, 
when Brandy got, oh man, it took, <laughs> it took a nose dive to hell, boy. <laughs> Started. I, 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 I think I watched. I think I watched. I watched the first season. I watched the first season. I watched the first season. Yeah, you rewatch it today, Josh. It's hilarious. It, it's Listen, I watched it. I watched it. It was. A, it was. A, it was an infamous snowstorm. Two thousand. I don't know. Like eight years ago, seven years ago, and in, in, in mm-hmm. the ice storm, and we got snowed in. In the game, they were doing the game marathons, and I was like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We that was a good show. Yeah, you know we snowed in. We'll go ahead and throw it in there. All right, Aisha, who you got for number three? Number three, I got Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You think it's underrated? Yes, people do not yeah. know how funny that is. Yes. Listen, let me yes. tell you something that's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. Yeah. One of my greatest greatest shows of all time. Put, put it on your list, Marvin. Y'all wait. So Mariah, it's put It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on your list. Oh, Jack, you, you know I've seen a couple episodes of Always Sunny. I've never yeah. seen it, but I'll watch it. It's definitely fun. Definitely underrated. Sister Mariah, why don't you skip to the Shred Dynasty episode? Some sisters on there. You'll buy it for that one. You know Shred Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode is the gang gets racist. So she exactly. It's like, yeah, I watched the first episode. Why are you like that? Okay. And then Mimi said the game the game was good before BT, and then it went downhill. I'm surprised nobody said the other show, The Quad. Y'all like The Quad? <laughs> Look at Josh. Josh don't even remember The Quad. <laughs> Yeah, nobody ever even watched that. That show had one season. <laughs> it might have had one episode. <laughs> why? Why y'all like y'all want to support the quad? Some right, you want to support the quad? Uh, Josh just like said the quad. <laughs> I never <laughs> saw it. Once I heard it, it was kind of like different. Just, like, this is like how the quad sounds. The quad. That second no, yeah. the, the yeah, first thing the quad. quad. Yeah, the man, first season. The, the first season. Um, it's Felicia, more than one. He's in Josh Stop. Yes, because Felicia, Felicia, Felicia got pregnant at the end of season one. And I'm telling you, what? Tyrone. Who is Tyrone Felicia, Josh? Who the hell is Felicia? Felicia, <laughs> Felicia is the she's a, she was the R she was the RA on the quad. Okay, who did she get pregnant by? By T. They Tyrone, they call him T. So T. <laughs> so T. Are y'all laughing? Y'all don't support black shows. Oh, hey, shout out to T from the Parkers. That was my favorite character on the Parkers. <laughs> this is why we can't rise to people because y'all don't support the quiet because it's black because it's HBCU. Like, why y'all support it? It's just it's just like a different world. Literally, it's just like a different world. No, it's but, not. Don't, don't ever go there. <laughs> That's why I didn't watch it because I felt it's like it's a different world than it was world. at Clark. <laughs> I'm listen. I'm telling y'all, no sleep. Uh, Mimi said she loves how Josh cracks himself up. <laughs> Not even saying I'm being racist. Y'all being racist because y'all don't watch the quad. That's it. It's, 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 it's a different Felicia world for that. <laughs> that that season finale, she was oh, on a scholarship, and if she that that that, 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 that almost got her <laughs> married. Like, she couldn't afford a pregnancy test, so she sold it. I'm telling that you, it was it was crazy. She sold one pregnancy test. Out the listen, box. I'm telling y'all, y'all should have seen it. it had, man, listen, the soundtrack, man, dancing. They was it was y'all gotta get a quad credit, bro. Soundtrack provided by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that guy get a quiet credit. I'm, I'm never mentioned BT shows again on here. So apparently, y'all want to get quiet. Hey, All right, let's go. My number three, I'm going with uh, it's a sitcom, but it was in Jim Henson form. Four seasons on Netflix. Rewatch it if y'all never seen it before. Called Dinosaurs. Um, Sherman Hemsley, uh, aka George Jefferson, was the voice of the boss. It's a very funny show. Oh, the oh, the okay. Yes, dinosaurs. I'm, it's a. I'm something they had. It was like a dog. They talked about. It was just a sitcom with that little with the little baby dinosaur. The little, yes. like, little fruit. <laughs> rewatch. It. I'm telling y'all, rewatch. It. I never watched that. I'm gonna watch that. I'm telling you, it's they literally. It's like it's like a whole world. Skip it was to like, the last season. Skip to the last season, last episode of dinosaurs. You ever seen it, Josh? Yeah, I'm saying, why y'all would be sad about that? You're going to make everybody sad. Go that's a, that's no, a hell of an ending, aren't you? I'm like, my God. That's, a, Naima, that's a finale for your ass. Naima, uh, Naima said Dinosaur is such a cute show. I'm, tell, like, I'm telling y'all, like, it was good. Sister Rakia said she's going to check it out. Reels by Rakia, we, we've been missing you because you're so busy calling Sister Mariah uh, during top five. All right, let's go. Number <laughs> two. Who do you got, Marvin? I got Third Rock from the Sun. It's a great one. I had that. That's one. a good one. That's a good. That's a real good one. Listen, put it on. I I, I put it on to go to sleep. Don't come for me on that one. Third rock is funny. It's a good one. I, I, and I and I, I like the main character. He, he's 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 he was Michael Scott before Michael Scott, like that type of dopey, yeah, yeah silliness. 
All right, Sister Mariah, who do you have at number two? My number two is Will and Grace. You think it's underrated? I think it's underrated. I, I listen, you know, Karen, the whole yeah. show. I laugh at her. Naima, what's the midget man's name? Sister Mariah, you might know. What's the midget's We uh, can't call him midget. I mean, midget. Beverly Lane? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. That's my boy. Little people. Okay, little people. Aisha, what's the little people's name? What's his name? <laughs> what's the little people's name? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm what's his name though? I said Beverly Leslie. Beverly Leslie is one of the funniest people on camera and hey, in really real life. Is. He's funny as hell, man. He really is. Every time, Wait, you time about, don't tell me, Josh, you met Mr. Parker. You met you met him in real life. No, I didn't know he was a little person. He's not? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I thought he was with he was with um what you say, what you talking about, Willis? He was with him. He was they all together. No. Uh, no. Okay. He's with, he's he's with sure. him. Who are we talking about? I think he's just short. I don't I don't I don't think that he's a little person. He couldn't have fit through the door. That was like one of the jokes, right? Like uh, no, but I think I, he's so short. I don't think that he's a little person. Might be classified a dwarf. That's okay, it's a little dwarf. I don't know. It's, it's not dwarf. We're talking about right now. We don't even talk about little people for real. It's, little, it's not dwarf. <laughs> what do you, you say? What's, what's the right thing for dwarf? What do you say? <laughs> oh, but I think he was just a short man, honestly. Okay, so seven wife, let me snow white, and then short people. Whatever. Little, 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 whatever. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, Mariah, what we got for number two? <laughs> My number two was Will and Grace. Okay, what? I can't believe y'all think he's underrated. I mean, I mean, I mean that show underrated. I don't think it's underrated. Mm. It was good, but I, I think it, I think it. Mm. Mm. Listen, Naima said that uh, that dude was her favorite character. Beverly Leslie was the best. Listen, he he's so funny. And Karen, what are we talking about? Yeah. And just Jack. And Jack. And Jack. <laughs> and Jay, Jay, that, that might have been J Lo's best cameo I ever saw her playing herself. She did a great job playing herself. I would hope so. Yeah. No, I'm saying because it was because she was mocking herself. Like it wasn't like she was like mocking the fact that she's so such a diva. So I was like, all right, okay, she's normal. She got she's she humanized herself. She take herself too serious. All right, Yahweh, who you got number two? Got probably the most underrated black show of all time, and that's the Parenthood. Like nobody talks about how nobody talks about how genius Robert Townsend really is. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. True. I agree. That man is one that's of the true. greatest. Oh, listen, you preach to the choir. I'm a big Robert Townsend fan. That's what I'm saying. Like he's one of the greatest like black people in Hollywood ever. Nobody talks about. It. Yeah, I don't know true. if it's because it's too positive. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I know. They probably like ain't enough drama. Yeah, it's like it, it's like everything. It, it, thinking back on it, you would think it's corny, but I've been went on like a binger of watching these episodes on YouTube over like the past weeks, and they were actually funny as hell. It's actually really it's funny. It's good. And by the way, his daughter on the show, the oldest one, was a great actress. She really <laughs> brought. <laughs> Zarya, Zarya was a great actress. <laughs> <laughs> she really, I'm saying she she brought the. I was like, man, every I used to just be so amazed. I stared at the screen, like, man, she, she, she said, just, you just stared at the screen. Every <laughs> line, she, she had perfect comedic time, and I was like, mm, you cannot help it. it. Wow. And <laughs> the reason the reason I put the, the reason I put my fist up is because the dude who played on there as you know the light skin dude wind up being Malcolm X on uh, Godfather Harlem. He does a great oh, yeah, job. He sure is the dude from Godfather Harlem. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. He does a good oh. job playing Michael Max. All right, let's go. Aisha, who do you have for number two? Um, number I think this show is great and extremely underrated. Malcolm in the Middle. You said Malcolm in the Middle? Yes. Oh, that's that's in my top 10. Yeah, easy. Malcolm, so that's, that's a good one. The uh, recognition it deserves, I don't think. It doesn't. And because everybody loves Breaking Bad, more people know how from Breaking yeah. Bad than they do from Malcolm so, in the Middle. So good on Malcolm. I'm like y'all, y'all. I'm like y'all know he was a TV dad before Breaking Bad. Like you know what I'm saying? Like before. Nah, it doesn't matter if you ain't selling meth. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like y'all know Heisenberg, but don't know how. Like what's going on? Know Heisenberg. Okay, great. My number two. I'm going Roseanne. Roseanne is one of the most underrated sitcoms of all time. I don't think it's underrated. You, you I think? Don't it's, I don't know if it's underrated. Y'all think people get Roseanne crazy? I would say it is. I, I think people. I think. I, I think, think love Roseanne. That's 
a, I mean, I don't think that's, 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 a, that's a trailer park. That's a trailer park classic right there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you talking about some great acting? The oldest daughter on Roseanne. When I was younger, I just she she made me feel like I was in. You know what? Well, 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 character too. Like uh, Becky. Um, Becky. So Becky was he good <laughs> actress? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Oh my God, Josh! So Becky wasn't an actress. I was with you. I was with you, Azaria. But, but no, no, this, no. The sec, the second Becky from Scrubs was amazing. Actually, like she's super no, funny. She's really terrible. Terrible. They were no. They were one of them again. <laughs> uh, uh, since, since Denisha said nobody said the Golden Girls, because this is top five underrated TV shows. We are Golden yeah. Girls. Golden Girls is getting all the Golden credit. Girls is overrated. If you had, if you had no, it's not. Oh, no, no, y'all win. No, it's not. Y'all watching Go to Girls today? I yes, would. I definitely would. <laughs> y'all y'all yes. watch it today? All right, go ahead. Go, go That's watch. a classic. Go watch Golden Girls today. Go, go, go watch Golden Girls right after this, then. I'm telling y'all it's funny. All right, go. Marvin, what you got? Number one. Under- Overrated. <laughs> what did Betty White do to you, Yahweh? What did Betty White do to you? All right, Marvin, what you got for number one? Uh, you know, I always got to mention the Jamie Foxx show because everybody think that Martin this is exactly where it belongs. Because he <laughs> Jamie Foxx. <laughs> no, bro, y'all always say Martin is better than Jamie Foxx. It is not. Yes, it Jamie, is. Jamie Foxx, <laughs> to me, Jamie Foxx is better than Martin. It's better no. than Fresh Prince. Mm-hmm. It's better than all them shows. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, stand, on your, stand on your word, King. That, <laughs> Marvin, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't rewatched it, so I can't I can't fully give it uh, like the objective. I ain't seen it since back in the day. <laughs> no one rewatch it. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since back in the day, Marvin. So I can't say. No, it's on. It's I think it's on Netflix, but it's on one of them. Them show. I've been. Watching, watching. Hey, Chess, yeah. He's at home it, watching. It might be on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering why Sister Aisha cover for me off. <laughs> I know, but you said before we went live, oh, Miss Aisha, she been around me. Crazy. No, I don't know. She put my you. heart out every, every, every segment she been. <laughs> Listen, Naima said, Marvin, please stop. Sister Aisha said, no, sir. Sister Aisha said the Jamie Foxx show was trash. What? I, listen, I can't say it. I know the oh, wet episode. Hey, Marvin, the wet thank episode you for taking the heat off good. the Parkers. Now listen, I'm saying it's been five. Let me talk about Parker's Marvin. I get for real, for and and hang with Mr. Cooper. I, for real. But. Listen, I haven't seen Jamie Foxx since, since. I just knew people at school used to be like Broham, and I, I it just I didn't, you know, I didn't really. Oh, understand. they were saying Broham at Neighborville, Josh. They racist as hell. Who's calling you Broham? No, nobody. No, nigga ain't no nah, nigga want to die. No, nah, ain't called me Broham. They knew what it was. They said it to each other though. All right, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Now, if you think for five seconds somebody will ever call me bro hell. <laughs> Yahweh. Oh, also, Rand, speaking of Naperville, nothing funnier than when you see people from Naperville doing the Wayans Brothers, I'm surprised y'all said that pop special chili, you know? I used to be like, why do y'all like it? Like, why do y'all like this show? I never understood it. I never understood the Wayans Brothers. Hey, bro, that's not hey, that you said that. I didn't even think about oh, it. Oh, he loved that. Oh, he loved that. <laughs> Yeah, I, got, I got one word for you, racism. That's what they like. They should be like, I be like, y'all care? They be like, yo, man, watching Wayne Brothers? I'm like, no, I'm not watching Wayne. No. Said, yo, yo, you ain't watching Wayne. You ain't watching Wayne's Brothers? I'm like, no. Pop spe- get to, they say, they should say, get to T. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, I don't care what nobody say. John Witherspoon is the greatest TV dad of all time. I love- Period. Yeah. I don't know about that, but you know, you know, rest in peace. Rest name a better uh, name a better, more normal TV dad than John Witherspoon. Um, <laughs> every TV dad that we've named so far. Like, I, 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 <laughs> but no, I, I like John Witherspoon. Nope. He, I, um, uh, since Denisha uh, said, go back and watch it now. It's funny. All right, I'm gonna take your word for it, Sister Denisha. All right, now next we're going with you, Sister Mariah. Who do you have? Number one underrated TV um, sitcom of all time. My number one, I have Bernie Mac show. I thought it was really funny, but when I talk to some people, I do feel like it's underrated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my number one will be Bernie Mac show. 
Okay. I like Bernie Mac. You can't go wrong with Bernie Mac. All right. Next, we got some right. Yahweh, what you got for number one? I don't think Bernie Mac is underrated. I love the Bernie Mac show, but I wouldn't put this on. I think it's right exactly where it's supposed to be at. But my number one is the most underrated TV show of all time. The most. My wife and kids. I don't care what nobody says. Nobody talks about my wife and kids at all. But if you rewatch that my wife and kids, my, my wife and kids is David Wayne's like, he should be up there as one of the best TV dads of all time. Because he was hilarious on that show. And and did he have a special guest with one of Wayne's brothers? And did Wayne brothers have a special guest on that show? Did know. they? I know Keenan's was a special guest okay, on okay, the okay. show. He played he played his older, cooler brother. Like that's right, that's right. I don't know if the other ones like you know how they do. They they all give you. They all employ each other. Like, they that's what I'm saying. Because like, I'm like I'm like that would been that would been tight to see them all come together. Oh, um, I'm trying to think, but maybe I'm not sure. Okay, Naim, Mimi said Bernie Mac show was really good. Naim said number one is Everybody Hates Chris. I love Everybody Hates Chris. And then um, since Leticia said it wasn't that funny to her, okay, y'all would shut it down. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Aisha, who's your number one? Me and Naima. Everybody Hates Chris. It's the best. Everybody Hates Chris was is yeah. definitely a great show. No it's one. Great. show is because, great. At like two seats. I don't understand why. Listen, when, when we did our top sitcoms of all time. I didn't put it on there because it didn't have the longevity of the other shows, but I love everybody's Chris. It was funny. It was funny. All right. Speaking of not having longevity, but being funny, another after school special show. So apparently y'all didn't care about shows after school, the in-between times. And apparently everybody had cable and y'all was streaming, so y'all didn't watch regular stuff. But I'm going with the only show that had a blind black man, funny as hell, at the diner, uh, Becker. Do not sleep on Becker. Becker is funny. I'm telling y'all, don't sleep on Becker. Everybody. So, so, so everybody in the comments, that sister who said no to mine, you know what? If you don't say no to Becca, <laughs> Becca is good. I'm sorry, Ar Arvin. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I was to say Jamie Foxx might have is Becca. Gold. Becca is the no. worst no. asshole. <laughs> like, Becca. No. I don't so Becca wasn't answer. good. I like Becca. No. No, of course. I'm gonna say, don't let me out here, y'all. Of course, you're like, of course, you're like that. Where is it? No, no. Y'all know. Y'all know. Oh, I see. No, I ain't never heard of what that was. That's talking about. Y'all never seen Becker with Tay Dancing? Becker is born as Miles T. Yes, it is, but it's good. Like, y'all ain't like, like, Becker wasn't. You said a blonde black dude. The first thing I thought was Arnez on one on one. I was like, wait, Josh, right. see, listen, first of all, I would never say one on one for anything. But yes, Becker was good. Like Becker was funny, y'all. I'm telling y'all. If y'all rewatch Becker, it's good. And and I used to one of the dudes off Kirby Enthusiasm. One on one is better than Becker, probably. <laughs> Becker is good. <laughs> okay, it's just, it's nice. Uh, Denisha said Becker's good. Thank you. I'm gonna say, come on, y'all. Don't don't do don't wait. Be time out, Josh. Is Becker your number one? Yes, it's underrated. It is underrated. Okay, well, you might have won because that's completely underrated. I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's just like it's a good show, like nobody talk about it. I don't even know if that's on Tubi. That might be. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen this since WCIU in Chicago. Yes, I'm aware, but it was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what is WCIU? She got like PBS or something. It, it's 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 a local it's a local station, but it was a local station. Yes. <laughs> All right. No, uh, top five athletes that deserves biopics. Um. Oh, also, hold on. I had some um honorable mentions. I had Spin City, and I had Mad About You. Just random sitcoms. If y'all underrated. Oh, Mad About You was almost on my list. Yes. Listen. Top five athletes that need bio the biopics. <laughs> We're going with Aisha, number five. Who you got? I got Barry Bonds. Mm. Barry Bonds, you want to be sad. It's going to be sad. It's going to be great, but it's going to be sad. He deserves he it. Deserves it. Deserves it. Um, he deserves it. He does deserve it. It's going to be sad, though. It's going to make me sad. It's going to make me sad. I, I, I couldn't watch it, but yeah, it'll be, he deserves it. Um, And Mimi said nobody talks about it for a reason. Thank you, Mimi. All right, listen. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yahweh, what athlete deserves and needs a bi biopic? I got a wild boy. I got Dennis Rodman. The, a goat. That's a goat. Dennis Rodman had a, um, what's his name? 
If he had a biopic, he'll be over with. Be I love. How can I not think about Dennis? Right? God damn, Josh. Bro, Josh, think about how wild that is. You got Prince and Dennis Rodman. Think about, like, think about the levels of person that we talk talking about right now. Listen, Dennis Rodman, bro. Man, I would watch that movie. Prince, it's gonna be sad though. Gonna be sad that one. At least he got some championships though. But at least it's sad. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be some breakdown crime moments. I already know. But things like, damn, Dennis Rodman. That's a great one. I ain't think about that. Uh, all right, uh, Marvin, who you got for number five? I got Michael Phelps. Uh, okay, explain. Michael Phelps, man, all them rings, all them gold. No, 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 listen, bro, I know, I know he's great. I'm saying, why why do we need to see his movie, though? That's what I'm saying. Man, just to, to know what he went through, to, to win that many gold medals, just period. Like, he's to be the most decorated Olympian ever. ever. Like, it's just dumb. <laughs> Do you do you know the the Olympics is the world, bro? I get like, it. no, this bro. I, I get it. I just wanted to know if you had something you ate. Tom Brady, my favorite like athlete, but I ain't put him on my list because I like I ain't know if his story was gonna be like. No, I, I did. Right here. He on my list. He on my list, Josh. I'll okay. explain why too. I'll explain. Okay, good. Because I'm gonna say because I was these people. I was like, I probably watch that movie before I watch Tom Brady movie. Even though I love Tom Brady, you know what I'm saying? It's like I wanted to see it. Mimi said Tracy McGrady. I don't know if she's uh, trolling me right now. But she said, that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. She said, Alan, she said, Alan Iverson. Of course, all the sisters want to see Alan Iverson. He said, I mm-hmm. took Alan on my list, but I had him on there. Like Maybe <laughs> he said, Dennis Rodman would be good. And she said, that's a good one, Marvin. I'm surprised none of the sisters came through with um, the flippers, Simone Biles and them. Uh, let's go. She already got a little biopic, don't she? Uh, uh, on like Lifetime or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Oh, nobody said, and none of y'all said Flojo. None of the sisters come on, Flojo. <laughs> We, All right. we four. We're number five. Sister Mariah, who got for number five? Oh, my number five was Soleil Bonnelly. She was a, a figure skater. And when I was younger, she was the one that was doing like backflips and all that kind of stuff. And she made me want to be one because she was the only black girl I would ever see. And she was doing all the stuff that nobody else could do. Talking about the swole black girl? This is Mariah. Mariah, that might be the best. That might be the best answer you ever gave, Sister Mariah, right there. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm being serious because I it was, it's another sad one. It's gonna be sad because she because she wouldn't win because she defied the judges. But it was great to see a black. Girl. The, the slow, the slow, short black girl who uh, was from like the UK or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a black girl. No, no, I, I see you talking about her. Like she was, she was killing the girls, but they was just hating. Like, Mimi said that's a great, uh, great uh, that would be great to Mariah. She so yeah. said um, they're making Tiffany Haddish portray her. I hope you're not talking about the plan. Uh, <laughs> about the, the tip, the, it's not a comedy, it's about to be a silly movie. It's, it's Tiffany Haddish playing her. I got right. somebody Tiffany Haddish to play, Scar Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's right on brand. Uh, my number five, or Keisha Cole, whatever. But listen, my number five, I'm going with. My favorite, my second favorite wide receiver, but it was one and two of all time. I'm going with Terrell Owens. T.O. 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 needs a, a biopic so bad. I think I think I would I would go see it. I want to know his story. What makes him angry like that? What makes him like defy the Hall of Fame? Just be like, what makes T.O. T.O. He's he, bro. I gotta see it. I gotta yeah, see a T.O. Yeah. movie. That's good. All right, let's go. Number four, Aisha. Who you got? I got Alex. Felix for number four. Okay, explain. She is the most decorated tra- uh, track and field female ever. And mm-hmm. then almost quit because of her drama with Nike, but she came back and she still got medals like last Olympics. I think it'd be a dope mo- movie. That's right. Okay, okay. See, that's, yeah. why, that's why I love doing this so we can see everybody thinking out the box. I would have never thought that. Um, um, Sister Mimi said talking about sad, yes. And Sister Denisha said it would be full of drama, T.O. Yes, it would. And Mimi said she would love to see that, Aisha. And then Sister Rakia said Flo jo- Oh, she, no, no, Sister Rakia, do not play with me talking about some Tiffany Hatch playing Flo Joe. She ain't, she wish she could be Flo Joe. Man, Tiffany Hatch can be the whole her transformation so far is pretty good. I'm, listen, I'm not saying she can't act like her. I'm saying, you know, seen Flo Joe. Come on, man. I don't know why I don't know why I was seeing them. Tiffany had this be no <laughs> Flo, be, you know, play Flojo? Beyonce. That's what play Flojo. Like, Flojo is like the finest athlete to me. Now, like, yeah, it's going to be hard to play Flojo. Um, Beyonce. 
I know actress. Why would you? Call I her? didn't say. I, once again, I didn't say because of acting skills. I no, said yeah. she. I mean, I mean, Tiffany Haddish ain't one either. So the ball can roll. That's why I say I just completely aesthetics. I didn't say nothing about talent. Um, Naima said she would definitely watch that. Oh, All right. Okay, wait. Who just said that? Okay, who just went? Marvin, did you go for number? No, I didn't. Oh, that was that was me. I think. Okay, Aisha went. Yahweh, who you got for number four? Hey, y'all want to talk about some drama? How many uh, Jack Johnson? Anybody ever heard of Jack Johnson, the boxer? Come on with it. Come on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, Jack Johnson mm-hmm. boxing in like the 1910s, 1920s, and marrying white women when it wasn't allowed. That's that's a hell of a movie right there. Like, it's gonna be sad. Not, I, I, I have a feeling it's gonna be sad. Like, <laughs> like, the whole movie would not be sad. It definitely it would be. Yeah, that's a sad. That's gonna be a sad movie right there because the end of his life was pretty sad. But yeah, I, I mean, this man was, he was a boxer. He would drive, he would drive his car at like crazy speeds around like sundown towns yeah, 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 with yeah. white women in the car. Brother wow. didn't care. Brother was boxing with a full grill. Like, brother yeah, 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 yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack Johnson. And then they, they, they said the, the, the wrench is, they, the wrench is named after him because he could bend the wrench or whatever. Like something like wrenches at the John, the, one of the wrenches is named after him because he could bend it so short. No, I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jack Johnson said that dude. You want to talk about a complex black man right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a brother brother was a revolutionary in the coon all, that, all at the same time. Oh, you that way. The brother was Umar Johnson. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh, Marvin, you. you got number four. I got Tom Brady for number four. Okay, like, you, you got to realize where he was drafted and where he ended up and how many Super Bowls he went to and his percentage in Super Bowls. It's hard to get to one Super Bowl. Are you, are you I, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a person that loves to hate. I mean, hates to love Tom Brady. I just like, I, I mean, you, you, you can't deny his greatness, but I don't like him that much. I ain't going to lie. I don't like him that much. But as a GOAT, man, that story would be crazy. Where he was drafted at and where he ended up, nobody could have saw that. And the pr- progression between him him being just some dude and now, okay, is this guy the GOAT? And then year by year, him proving him be, to be the GOAT? Yeah, that story would be crazy. It'd be good. I just didn't put him on my list. Even though it's my boy, I was like, nah, these other people I got to see before. But that's a great one, Marvin. You can't go wrong with Tom Brady. All right, let's go. Uh, Susan Mariah, who do you have at number four? My husband said Jim Brown. What are we talking about? That would be great. Come on, Jim. What are we saying? I was like, give me something that Red Josh can't argue with. Man, what you talking about? Like, we talking about goats. We talking about goats, Jim Brown. Oh, no. They put, they already, they, brother already was in that one movie, whatever that movie was, that Night Miami shit. So we. Oh, no, no. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. So we ain't going to. Yeah, no, 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 Jim Brown. <laughs> I can't hear you, Aisha. I said I think that was a terrible depiction of Jim Brown in that movie. No, every depiction of Jim Brown ever on screen has been terrible. Like, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that was Express, really- all of them have been pretty bad. If y'all, if y'all don't get me started on Express, but uh, if y'all, <laughs> if y'all, the fact that you know that, like, I, I'm Jim. Jim Brown is my favorite running back of all time. You talking about a complex character? Come on, bro. right? Jim Brown, bro. <laughs> you, you, you got to play somebody strong to him. Jim Brown is strong. He that dude, man. I'm telling you, like, no, nah, you gotta like they gotta do him right. All right. Speaking of complex, he was my favorite defensive player of all time. Then he went another way once he got into broadcasting. But I would love to hear a story. A real killer, a real murderer, got away, came back to the NFL and won the Super Bowl. Ray Lewis. I, I would love to understand. I about, I about it. I would hey, love, what? I would love to see a biopic about Ray Lewis. The name, the name of the movie, one night in love. <laughs> <laughs> the man One night he alone. was so intimidating that's what I'm saying before broadcasting he was a oh killer. you saying you saying you saying don't bring him all the way current no no we, you talk about that. him don't being a him. him being a killer being sc- I'm, I'm talking about making running backs pee on him like you know man, Ray Lewis was the scariest person like bro he, you know, he went to the U <laughs> University, he went to the U and but he kept he became the biggest sellout of all I time. get I listen I said that's it, where it went but when he was playing football there was no, I ain't never seen nobody at what Lawrence Taylor was for everybody's generation, though. All Dick Buckus, I get all that. I Ray love Ray. I used to love The picture okay. with him in the head, he's a murderer. <laughs> he's a real killer. And then he was, <laughs> like, how you let him get out of jail and then play? Like, come on, bro. Like, that, like, you don't get better than that story. Like, it was, I want to know. 
Okay, Naima said Floyd Mayweather, and Mimi said Wet is Express. Mimi, it's it's a um, what's McCall plays in that? The Darren Sands group plays in that. Um, he played Jim Brown, but it's about Ernie Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I got him. You gotta just look it up, Mimi. But it's a good football movie. I mean, it's not a good football movie because the way they did Jim Brown, but it's good besides the Jim Brown thing. All right, Naima, you already know Floyd. You know Floyd Money Mayweather's on my list. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. Number three, who do you have? Aisha. Uh, Marvin uh, already. Oh. Explain. I mean, Marvin pretty much said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Decorated Olympian of all time. Okay. I mean, okay. Just. Michael Phelps. I'm sure everybody would be interested to see how he became who he is. Okay, great. I just thought of a top five idea, so I'm letting y'all know right now on the spot. I watch, it's this thing, I'm some, when I go on my nerdy YouTube looking, they do things where they cast, you get to pick who you would like, fan casting of people, we gotta do something like that with who we pick to play certain people. Like, if that makes sense. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? All right, Michael Phelps, Jim from The Office. <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying, like that. Like, <laughs> like, like, you, like they did it, it was funny, it was, it's good. I watch, I watch YouTube channels all the time when they do that. They're like, this person would be the perfect all right, so let's go. Yahweh, who you got? Number three. Number three, I got to go with the one, the only Michael Vick. If y'all want to see, y'all want to see a rise of fall and rise again. That's it. You know, a, a, a Michael Vick documentary. Not documentary, but a biopic, like, would be super interesting. I, I want to. I need him to play himself though. Like I need Michael Vick like on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Oh no! Now why? Now why? Now why? He should because is, is he a good actor? Are you saying he he's a good actor? Are you being a good actor? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? She's openly choosing, and y'all let her get away. <laughs> I said just don't let that happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Aisha, please. Whenever, so, no more Michael Vick because Aisha. Just for that. That's a great one, y'all. Were. Uh, it'll be sad. It'll be. It'll be sad. But I, it'll be good. All right. Um, just like some, like some of mine are sad. It's like, damn, man. You gotta. Can we get some more happy ones? Uh, all right, let's go. Marvin, who you got? Number three. Uh, number three. I got Tiger Woods. Okay, explain. And I mean, just to go from being a young, a young. Decent golfer to the greatest golfer of all time, all time. and way, it, it was the way he was winning though. Like that's why his body all messed up because he was hitting that damn ball so hard early. In this well, don't think he was hitting hard. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, well, you thought about it, right? You thought you thought about it and still said it. Like why? Like why? Like why can't? Why can't? Why can't we? You now Michael Vick just went. We ain't make no dog references. Hey, that's, 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 that's never move. What my dog said. <laughs> <laughs> That's the favorite movie. I still, I still hate to see Tiger Woods walk. I hate to see him walk like that, like, okay. hurting his arms and shit. Like, I, I mean, you got like I said, our, our bodies are not meant to take any of the punishment in any of the sports that we play, and the violence that he was hitting the ball with, you, it makes perfect sense why his body is broken. It's sad, man. They got to be the softest sport to ever get that many injuries in, though. Yeah, yeah, right? it's sad. Nah, bro, like, uh, bro, that's like swinging a baseball with all your might, but also with precision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, uh, I want to see a Tiger Woods story. I want to see oh, a look, I don't know, because Jack Nicholas and all of them, they, they, they look perfectly fine to me walking around. And all that's what I think it was the weight, because I'm telling y'all, Jim Brown, which is my favorite stories of all time, doing security for him, he came to uh, one of the ministers' marches, and I saw the way he was walking, and he had the knots on his arms, and he was a, like, he was so nice. But I was like, man, Jim Brown's like my favorite running back. I was talking to, him, but I saw the way he was walking. I said, oh hell no, nah, man, that's sad. Like I don't want to see no athlete at the end where it look like no. That's how I, but like these athletes are being smart. Look at Luke Keekley. He Luke Keekley and Andrew Luck. Some of these athletes are saying, look, bro, I'm not finna be and uh, like that at the end of my life because I gotta live. For real. Yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, hell. that made me sad. That was a sad Jim Brown. So I was like, oh no, nah, damn, hell. Nah. But whatever. All right, let's go. Sister Mariah, who you got at number three? Sister Mariah, you're making everybody dizzy. People in the comments say we can't see Sister Mariah <laughs> making us dizzy. Whatever. <laughs> Mariah is Sarah Miller. He said Cheryl Miller? Cheryl Miller. Okay. Oh, I don't see no damn Cheryl Miller. <laughs> What do you mean? That's she's, a, she's a shooter. She's a real shooter. You don't appreciate it. 
Nah, nah, nah. You can't. They, they would be, she was phenomenal. They would be a Reggie Miller without Sharon Miller. I get it. I get it. Hey, some people would. would. They would have Reggie without Cheryl. <laughs> I like Reggie without Cheryl. Now listen, because I, that, I I didn't appreciate her until I saw Reggie Miller's Thirty for Thirty. And how and she did make a Sharon Miller movie. Um, Love and Basketball. That was Love and Basketball. Uh, <laughs> now nah, she said Reggie Reggie Miller said he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been. She was his toughest competition. That's what made him go hard against Jordan and all of them because his sister. I was like, all right, I didn't know that. All right, my number three. He's my second favorite fighter of all time, but he's like, whatever. Take outside of Mike Tyson. He was my favorite fighter, not boxer. My boxer's number two. But favorite fighter, smoking Joe Frazier. It don't get no cooler than the Philly shell boxing sweater wearing. Bro, y'all understand how my love for Joe Frazier. Joe, listen, go watch some Joe Frazier documentaries. He was that dude, really a hard worker. He wasn't flashy. He just had the hats and he was knocking people out. Hey, hey Joe. Oh. Frazier, uh, right, uh, whatever hook he threw, the, the hardest one, it, I would think people was going to die, bro. Did He did, He got to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> he he couldn't have survived that. I swear, bro, that was the one, I swear, that was one boxer I ever seen that hit so hard that I was, like, literally fearful for the other man's life. Like, bro, Listen. he... Sister, where did you just go? Listen, <laughs> I just dropped my sister back off at home. Yeah, so, when I got in the house, <laughs> My dad was like telling me to do stuff. I was like, I can't. I'm talking to the crew right now. <laughs> oh, see, that was like a dungeon. That's what I was saying. <laughs> no, I was trying to make it back to the car before he was like, sister, right. <laughs> yeah. Naima said Jamal's, I mean, Mimi said uh, Jamal was being sexist, and Naima said Deion Sanders. How was, many of y'all was going to watch a Cheryl Miller movie? <laughs> Let's be honest. Barbara, you are alone, but that's okay. I, I mean, no. I, I'm not gonna say the movie theaters, but I watch it on my TV. You know what I'm saying? I can she was phenomenal. She set an example. I think without she opened the door for a lot of players. She did. Don't get me wrong. Cheryl Miller was a great player, but I am not watching <laughs> Cheryl Miller. <laughs> Why? Listen, uh, Naima, Naima said. Naima said Deion Sanders. Naima, I thought about Deion Sanders, but I was like, he probably gonna get one. Like sooner, so I was trying to get people who are wouldn't. That's why I did yeah. with Tom Brady. I was trying to get people I who are wouldn't. Yeah, like like smoking Joe Frazier, who deserved one. He should have been got his man. I'm like, this man was hurting people in the round, like literally, like what? All right, number two, we going with Aisha. Who you got? Uh, I got LeBron for number two. Of course, here we go. Because <laughs> he's LeBron. I mean. Well, that, that story is so complicated and tell it's gonna be so long. That's gonna be a four hour movie. Don't I hate, put it on my list. Don't hate I feel like it's gonna be on super here. good. Y'all gonna see him opening up schools. Yeah, man, that's that's that my brother like he's he retired. <laughs> <laughs> it's I should always some chosen athletes. So playing right there, like she's like, no, y'all gonna get this LeBron story. <laughs> y'all gonna get this LeBron story. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I go see it for sure. Hopefully, hopefully, it has a happy ending. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, he going in the show. Matter of fact, he does have a biopic coming out. Mm-hmm. Space oh, really? yeah, No, no, he has a real biopic, like a top oh. high school player in the nation is playing him. Did somebody just say Space Jam? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. But guess who is not gonna watch that? I don't want to see no, no LeBron James biopic. Y'all hate them. No, I love LeBron James. James. I don't want to see it. Sound like a hater. Me, 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 me. Uh, oh, Naeem said... Like, hey. Naima said Keyshawn Johnson and Naima, wow, you want to see Naima, Keyshawn Johnson? Naima, you don't even know Keyshawn Johnson. <laughs> Naima, who is Keyshawn Johnson? Naima, you want to see Keyshawn Johnson? Okay. No, nobody's watching the next one. Naima, you don't even know Keyshawn She just only chose on Keyshawn Johnson. Y'all, you got to see it. When Naima was little, I was I was so temp, I was so temp bait out, bro. Like it was key, it was a Keyshawn Johnson Warren Sapp house around me. It was Keyshawn on bus in that house. Huh? Yeah, I was like, listen, Warren Sapp, <laughs> Lynch, Mike Austin. I was a Tampa Bay. I was like, nigga, what's happening? It's Buccaneers over here. All right, um, <laughs> Marvin, who do you have at number two? Number two, I have. Oh, no, no, I skip, I skip, I Yahweh. Yahweh, you got number two. Oh, I got Lawrence Taylor. You want to talk about a crazy? You want to talk about a crazy movie? He, he, he might. Such? I got him right. I got him right. Him and Ray Lewis right there. I got him right. All of mine are drama field. Now we talk about legit killers. Now I know. I know that he probably definitely killed somebody. When Ray Lewis is, is on the cusp of in question. Ain't no question what he what uh, Lawrence Taylor did. Yeah. I mean, brother got like forty sacks in a game on crack. <laughs> 
And the reason I love Lawrence Taylor is he all everything that everybody cocaine, women, all of that. Then I turned on the Sopranos and he playing uh he playing with uh Frank Sinatra's son, like playing poker. And I'm like, he's like like people look at him like revere him, but if that was today with social media, they're like, Oh, he's a crackhead. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like Lawrence Taylor was like he was everything that everybody don't like now. He was. I don't even know what Lawrence Taylor is at today. He might still be on crack. <laughs> Like, he, he do like he on drugs, though, you know, when because he make appearances on sports shows here and there. <laughs> I mean, he was known. That's what he was known for. But guess right. what? While he on crack, he gonna crack your head wide open. I'm also speaking of speaking of speaking of rehab. I'm surprised nobody said Daryl Strawberry. That would be a good story. Just for this. Oh, that'd be a hell of a story right there. All right, uh, Marvin, who you got number two? I had Deion Sanders for number two. You can't go wrong with prime time. Prime is they they make arguments for him being the best football player ever. One, two, he played baseball. <laughs> he was a beast. He played baseball, and he was overly flashy. And like the story of like if you hear some of the stories that he told about how he he balanced between super flashy and he and hard work because like when he came to the 49ers, him and Jerry Rice would get into it, and Jerry Rice like you know. That's what he. I bet you he taught those players how to loosen up a little bit. Look, we gonna study and work hard as hell like y'all do, but we also gonna have some fun, goddamn it! I'm yeah. I'm with chains. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get this Jerry curl. We go. He's a rapper. <laughs> Jerry he, he can also play himself in the movie too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, man, that man went from bald to a head full of hair. That's true. Now let me tell you yes, something. Deion De- De- Sanders is is to like what what Allen Iverson was culturally for basketball. Where the reason everybody can wear braids and uh, prime time touchdown celebrations, all, bro. Deion Sanders is the man. I mean, this man has a whole face mask named after him. Deion. That's, that's all kids want to wear when they play football. Hey, give me that Deion. Yeah, you can't get wrong with that. All right, let's go. Sister Mariah, who you got number two? My number two, don't care what y'all say, is Serena Williams. Serena Williams, she the goat. We already got one, Super Riders. No, which one we got? Queen, Queen Richard. I mean, Queen, Queen Serena. King Richard. No, I felt like King Richard was more so highlighting their dad, and it focused. You gonna say no when the little sister plays Serena? It, it focused more so on their dad and her sister to me, but I would be interested to see something from her point of view because it seemed like growing up. She was kind of played to the left a little bit. Like she kind of came up in her sister's shadow. And I love the part of King Richard where she was looking at the field and her dad was like, your sister's going to be this, but you're going to be the greatest to ever play the game. Like you're going to be the greatest to ever do it. And I feel like I would be interested to see one from her point of view all those years. So, we gotta wait to, so you want to see King Richard too? <laughs> no, I just want to see her story. King Richard too. I, listen, now y'all talk about people who can play themselves. I would love to see who they cast as Serena Williams. I mean, that's a great talent. Like, I feel like the people that were really good they cast it as them were really good. Um, so, uh, uh, hey, our friend Tam, I even said primetime muscles. Uh, Tam Tam said, as soon as she's talking about Deion Sanders, can get his son to play him. And since Rakia says she agrees. Excellent. All right, my number two. The only athlete who to never see defeat. In the history of athletes, outside of Rocky Marciano, who really don't count, we, give, we don't give him enough credit from back in the day, fine. Floyd Money Mayweather. The Money, Money Mayweather. Mayweather. I would love to see a Mayweather, I would love to see a Mayweather uh, movie. I would watch that. For violence, that. just confidence. Money, like, what you saying? He never lost! That's what I'm saying. I don't know how good, because his personality make it good, but it might be boring because we know he's not going to lose. So I would have to see his personal life to see his wife or something like it gotta be something sad to make some drama because it yeah, really can't read. Okay, that's a good one. You can't read. Not Yahweh, don't roast don't roast make weather right now, but yes, that would be good. Like, no, no, because y'all got jokes for Fantasia now. We can come from we come from Floyd Mayweather, Dr. Seuss reading that. No, like, don't do that, Yahweh. I'm like, I'm all, like, all right, let's go. You no, know who won't no. let that happen, Josh? 56. 50 Cent will not let that happen. Matter of fact, he might. It might be radio. <laughs> exactly. Radio, radio part two. 50 Cent gonna hate. 50 Cent gonna hate. Number one, who you got, Aisha? I got, I got Mike Tyson for number one. You can't go wrong with Mike Tyson. Can't go wrong That's with a Mike. good one. 
Miami, you hear that? Mike Tyson, number one, my favorite fighter of all time. That's all I'm saying. All right. Why? But why you should? Why you want to see number, uh, Mike Tyson? Because I just think it's super interesting, and I don't think um, a lot of people really know how good he was at this point because a lot of people for so much other stuff. It's Not good. his talent in the ring. I feel like it gets over that up. Listen, all I know is I hope that when they do his movie, they show how legendary his entrances to the ring was, the no socks, the Tupac playing, the, the music Tupac playing, in oh. this, and then Tupac really being there. Like, come on, like, bro, Mike Tyson's the scariest man. I, I got Mike Tyson's scariest man to ever walk the face of this earth in sports world. Like, it's not even, it would be, it would be amazing to see it. But my number one will want, want to smoke with Mike Tyson in real life. We'll see. All right, Aisha. Uh, I mean, Yahweh, who you got for number one? My number one is the scariest man to walk the face of the earth. That's OJ Simpson. <laughs> that was my number one. That's my number one. That's my thing. He was scary. He was some drama. That was my number one. My number one is OJ. OJ Simpson. He killed that woman and he is still, he walked around like, yeah, I did it. I'm writing a book. <laughs> What's that? You know, I, I said, who's the number one movie I want to see? How did OJ? It's going to start off with OJ just putting gloves on. Like, but OJ really has to, but he has to play himself in his movie. Nobody, <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to play him. Nobody else that, I would, I would like to see like just an OJ Simpson one man show. <laughs> I'm like, Listen, no script, no script, no nothing. He like, yeah, no I come and in and, and then I drive in the white that, Bronco. He I'm be having the love to criticize other athletes when they mess up. <laughs> OJ right, so, <laughs> so the police are chasing me. I'm hitting the Bronco. I'm turning. I'm swerving. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. Hey, I'm I, I, I don't think OJ did. I'm just saying. I don't think I'm with you, Marvin. I'm with you, Marvin. Them damn gloves didn't even fit. Y'all bogus. Them look, gloves hey, didn't fit. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> if, them, if the gloves didn't fit, fit you must have gloves. Since I went with my people, hey, hey, he guilty as hell. But if I get around white folks, he can't, man. No, that's, man. That's, that's, what makes it so, that's what makes it so good is that he never went to like black churches when he got out. You want to talk about holding it down? Apologize. Ain't no snitching. <laughs> why, he, 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 why, why would he do any of that? He was in his proven innocent. Job. Because, no, because I'm saying because you because some people still some people try to get the vote, try to campaign. He like I'm still over here. You ain't never seen the BT before, <laughs> soldier. He like no, I'm OJ. I'm saying I'm OJ. <laughs> He's heard, you, you heard his crazy. last quote. He don't like being in LA because he might be sitting next to a real killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see? Okay, so that's what we saying. That'd be the greatest. I got you. That's what so I'm talking about. Y'all thought y'all thought Ray was good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, y'all thought y'all, Halloween was good. Y'all <laughs> Y'all okay. <laughs> thought all these scary movies were good though. You want to see a killer? <laughs> exactly. All right, oh, Marvin, who you yeah. got number one? Yeah, Kobe Bryant is number one. That'd be good. You, you want to make everybody one. cry. Marvin want to make everybody cry. Go ahead, Marvin. Man, but look, it, it's not even like that. That's that part of it just makes it even more tragic. But like if you really start to break down who Kobe was, because I hate I, I like I recognize his greatest like kind of Tom Brady, but I didn't like him as a player that much. Same here, but, same here, same here. But but I recognize how great he was. And then when you start to learn and stuff like him speaking in Spanish to his teammates to 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 see people and you know having a, a hurt arm and shooting with his left hand and like bro, the stuff that he would do and the stories that you hear after his death, it's like it, it's it's sad that you had to that he had to die for us to hear those stories. But so many of those stories that poured out when he was. Like and, and I already knew Kobe was like kind of culture, but like then you really see like he this man was the oh, he was the most mm -hmm. cultured player ever in the NBA, at literally ever. That's hilarious because he definitely would talk Spanish. I'm betting when he was talking Spanish to his teammates, he was talking some big shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mimi yeah. said his her heart can't take a Kobe movie, but he deserves it. A biopic, uh biopic though. Uh Naima, you see this? Kobe, Tupac, Tyson. These are all the people who everybody oh, canceled. Don't put Kobe in those same. No, I'm just saying people that people that people cancel. Can I say that, brother? People that people that cancel people. These are everybody number one. That's all I'm saying. That's how it is. Innocent black man, right? 
Kobe, Kobe, Kobe did. Kobe cheated. <laughs> the, um, that what's the name? The girl with Tyson wanted to come up. And um, what about Tupac? Tupac, what about Tupac? Tupac, Tupac girl, that was a, that was a setup. That was a setup. So OJ, OJ, so you said OJ, the only one who really did it. No, OJ, OJ did not do it. OJ did not do it. He, so he was four, a quick. So y'all saying hey, four black men. If we know anything about the judicial system and how it works, they would have been out for my brother OJ Simpson. So, so they must not have <laughs> enough evidence. Okay. Listen, I just want to be clear because I, I know my I know my fan base. So four, so four brothers. Oh, all right, that's how it is. Let's make sure. Uh, three, three. So, so, Josh, you said, so, Josh, you said, so, said Kobe did it? He said, no, I ain't listen. Hey, I ain't got nothing to say about the brother. He gone. You know what I'm saying? But God bless him. All no, right. Josh, you're not trying to lose no sponsorship. You ain't you, 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 you already know what it is. We're about, we're about, we're about, about to get the Mamba House sponsorship. Y'all trying to get a Lakers. I'm wearing Lakers hats. I'm rooting for LeBron and Westbrook and LA. I can't get me. I can't go to LA now. They mad. Nah, we ain't gonna get that Lakers sponsorship, Jazz. We talk too much shit about, about LeBron. It's all good. <laughs> but listen, guess but guess where I get free tickets to? The Utah Jazz. They always send me tickets. <laughs> that's when you go to Utah. Because that's where this Kobe case happened, and they knew the way when it happened. And I was like, I don't know. So that's all I'm saying. All right, Sister Mariah, who you got for number one? I'm just kidding, brothers. I'm just kidding. My brothers, come on, man. My that's number one. one. That's, some, that's some dirty Denver women that did that to my boy. Oh, I forgot Denver, not you, Uh Susan Ryan, who got for number one? My number one, I initially learned about him when I read the book, $40 Million Slaves, and then I was just kind of intrigued with him, but it is Bo Jackson. Oh, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. My man used to win triathlons. You know how hard it is to win, to win a triathlon? You know how hard it is to beat a case when you kill a white woman? <laughs> <laughs> this is Mariah, that's a great one, Bo Jackson. I don't uh I saw his 30 for 30. I know that Bo knows this, Bo knows that, but I don't know like his intimate, you know what I'm saying? I would like to see him. I watch his movie. He's good at everything. Yeah. Literally, he was everything. good at triathlons, then he played football, he was amazing, then he played baseball. Like, baseball. But speaking of walking, he got a hip replacement. You know what I'm saying? Like with the football stuff, like I'm like, but, damn. But man. That's what I'm talking about. Like he, all, it's just it's comparison to Tiger. Like when you that good, that young, your body can't. Most people can't take that. But you know what? That's what makes LeBron a goat. Exactly, that's Marvin. That's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. Does OJ Simpson walk with a limp? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. OJ, come on now. He walks with a limp. Oh no, I ain't seen him, but I don't think he do. Uh uh-uh. OJ, OJ ran from the police. <laughs> he ran from hey, look, it went, it went full circle, Josh. Because if you ever seen Roots, he was running on Roots from the from exactly. the township. Now he ran, then he was running from the police. Come on, Josh, it all came full circle. Yeah, right? that's Listen, so ridiculous. Sister Mariah, Mimi said that's a great. I can't believe I said you said Denver. Damn it, Josh, you're laying a joke. Denver. Mimi said that's a great book. Sister Mariah, forty million dollars slave. Yes, yeah, y'all should all read it if you haven't. That's the Absolutely. Cow. Forty million. Five. It's a $40 million, right. $40 million dollar slate. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's about the sports industry. Yeah. For sure. For sure. All right, let's go. I want to thank everybody who's watching the People's Podcast. I'm sure they'll make a movie about this with Mariah or a documentary. Because, you know, some of us don't want to read $40 million dollar slate. So you got to see. You got to put it on <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put, you gotta put, you gotta put it on BT. All right. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's watching. I want to thank our panelists. Uh, thank everybody who in the comments. Shout out to Mimi, Naima, Tam, Tam, um, Sister Denisha, everybody who's in the comments today. A random brother earlier, I forgot to say, say his name, but I saw you too, bro. Thank everybody who's watching, and on YouTube, shout out to everybody who watches as well. Sister Mariah, can you please say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye, uh, everybody. I feel like um, welcome, salam, ma'am. And Sister Rakia says, "Great show, y'all." Uh, Aisha, we want to welcome you back after. Your uh, five year hiatus, but thank you for coming back and please say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Brian is the goat for all these haters on this panel. Yes, me and Marvin. <laughs> the goat. Yeah, this is two people from Chicago saying LeBron is crazy. <laughs> listen, look, look, listen, Le- LeBron is in my top five, so just know that. Top five? Uh, in my top five? In my top five? He, like I said, he got, he got some more, he got unfinished business. 
Keep going. Then I, then I give him the credit that he fully deserved. Yeah. What happened? He got to get another one. At least one. Got to get at least one. He, 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 go he, he got one in every city he played in. What I give him credit for that. He like, tried to tell you exactly what he needs to do. So, like, so you listening? He needs to come to Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> he needs to suit up in State Farm Arena, and he needs to play along with Trey Young, so we can get us a championship. I'm with you, Mark. I'm, and then, I'm with you that way, and I will put on my Atlanta jersey. I follow him wherever he goes. <laughs> what does that mean? I follow him wherever he goes. Like, what does that even sound like? Like, what do you mean sound like saying that? Like, what do I got, mean? I got, I got Cleveland shirts in there. I got Miami Heat. I got all that. You know Same thing. The only reason I ever had a Cleveland hat or a Miami hat is because LeBron. Now Lakers hat because LeBron. Nobody would ever. All my friends from high school, like, bro, you hated the Lakers. I'm like, I know. LeBron's on the Lakers, so it is what it is. All right. Um, uh, Yahweh, please say goodbye to everybody, bro, please. Hey, look, if you don't fit, you can't quit. So go ahead. We're going to ride with it. So, OJ and, is... Anderson. Listen, okay. speaking, of, speaking and, of that, this is a bar. Even though Nick Cannon became real silly as the time got over. No, when Nick Cannon was with B2K... He on, ended no, with Nick Cannon. When Nick Cannon was a B2K, they did Gigolo. Nick Cannon had a bar about OJ, and it was pretty good. He said, I'm in an OJ throwback dressed to kill. That's all I'm saying. Like, it was, that, was pretty, that was pretty bar, yo. Ah, you see the science right there, man. You see that? I'm in an OJ throwback dressed to kill. Right That's the first time I think I ever heard anybody quote a Nick Cannon lyric. Because it was oh, awesome. I'm going to say that on the song. Hold on, man. I'm going to say Gigolo is the greatest song of all. I'm going to say, don't do that, Sister Ryan. <laughs> Jiggle <laughs> Maybe that could have been a summer. I'm quoting because it's about OJ. That's what I'm quoting. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm OJ thing. You know what I'm saying so I'm gonna quote it. Marvin, Those gloves did not fit. OJ is innocent. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait to do it. I wish I had a glove right now so I could do a reenactment of the biggest glove I ever seen. <laughs> wait, I'm gonna say, like, do a reenactment of what, brother? Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Marvin, give us our words. Give us our word today, Marvin. Man. So lately I've been, I was in a dark space for a long time and I didn't realize I was in a dark space for a long time and come, being in that dark space was beautiful and, and coming out of that dark space was beautiful too. So it's like, understand that your downfalls are a place of beauty and, and be grateful for your downfalls because if you, if you pay attention hard enough during your downfalls, you'll come out of that greater and you'll learn a lot from that and be better from the from from that downfall. So after being in dark space for so long and coming out and feeling like a lot better mentally and knowing where I just was and to where I came. And a lot of that was me being cognizant of positivity, always being positive through whatever it was, no matter what. Like we all go through stuff. I'm going through stuff right now, but it was, it was the first time in my life where I felt like I was I felt blessed in that moment of going through downfalls that's that's hard to do but feel blessed in that moment of your downfall because usually a lot of times we come out better on the other side all right go ahead, go ahead. marvin teaching as usual um everybody showing love in the comments i'll make sure i didn't oh one uh thing i forgot to mention uh honorable mention conor mcgregor he, his would his would be a, uh, a biopic that i would like to see as well um, yeah that'd be good that'd He's a killer. Like he's gonna be a savage. He's gonna probably be, like eating turkey legs on top of his head or something. Uh, Mimi said, "I'm glad <laughs> you were out of that is. dark space, bro." Boom. People showing you love, Marvin. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. Yeah, Hasbula. Hasbula is a great. It will be a great biopic. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is with you and little people? Do you not want their sponsorships? Like, why are you making fun of them today? Like, now, I would take the Hasbula sponsorship. If we get Hasbula on the show, open us up in prayer. <laughs> I thought I thought he was a little person. I was giving him credit. Like he's one of my favorite yeah. actors. I thought that was a big deal. Because listen, no, because every time I see you speaking, that um, uh, Leslie, what's the dude name? Aisha from uh, Beverly. Uh, Beverly Leslie. That song they used to come on every time people used to come in our school, and they'd be like, they was like real short and say, "Now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum." This was that neighborhood. You <laughs> the most racist high school in the world. Ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. What the hell? Like, like, I said they called you Broham too, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Second different strokes. They say he eat the deep. It's uh, just wild. Uh, and saying Broham. You didn't even see it. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Naima said amen. Great show, Marvin. She's talking about amen. Naima, maybe said good night, Josh. 
This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off with the People's Podcast. Thank you all for watching. Boom. There we go. Thank you all again.